John Gesangwa, after graduating with an MBA in Global Entrepreneurship from Colorado State University, he immediately embarked on a journey back to Rwanda, a journey of honoring his promise he had made to God when he was only 10 years as a refugee boy living in a refugee camp in Uganda. This is the community of Boneza. It is found nestled deep in the remote hills of Western Rwanda. It borders seat alongside the quiet and beautiful shores of Lake Kivu. A Rice Rwanda Ministries came alongside this impoverished community in 2011 by meeting with local pastors, local leaders, and getting to know the need of the community of Boneza. A God-sized vision for transformation came to life. He spent hours and days meeting people, getting acquainted, listening, praying, talking to local leadership, and slowly sharing ideas on how to partner. The need was overwhelming. It's so big in Boneza. Start small. Go slow, do it with excellence, and use what you have in your hands. That became my end of organization's motto. In a community of over 24,000 people, had one source of water, and that was a broken pipe. Children and women spent hours and hours going down in the valley to get dirty water from the broken pipe. Over 80% of the deaths in this community was caused by directly lack of clean and safe water. I, I remember very well going down by the valley, uh, seeing this little boy sitting with a plastic water bottle waiting for dirty water from that pipe. That hit me so hard. Remembering my two sisters dying of starvation and disease in the refugee camp in Uganda. And how could possibly people be dying in Bonezo? because of lack of clean water. Now, 10 deep water wells have been drilled. It is truly living water that has come. One of the water wells is mechanized, two catchment system, and a solar pump are in process. Clean, safe water is available in Boneza for the first time ever. For the waterborne diseases, they have been greatly reduced. Education was not considered very important, as there was little hope for change. The idea of early childhood education was unheard of. Children had to be seven years old and strong enough to walk for one hour to school. I visited a widow in Boneza dying of HIV AIDS. Her daughter was seated on a broken wall watching her mother die. And I asked her, how could I pray for her? And she said, Take my daughter, give her an education. How would I have mother? The local primary schools were in disrepair and they struggled to keep kids in school. The closest secondary school available was several hours away and beyond financial reach when the average income is only a dollar a day. The first goal of Arise Rwanda was to start a preschool that would eventually meet the needs of the most vulnerable children or the peanuts as we live and refer to them. A location was found. The local leaders selected the first 60 children based on who had the greatest need, and this shell of a building was offered to house them. It had no roof, and the children had no uniform. There was no porridge, no trained teachers, no teaching supplies, no parental involvement, and malnutrition was everywhere. But is now thriving with five preschools, reaching over 300 kids every year. They are enthused and well-trained teachers. Arise Rwanda has united and empowered the local pastors. The pastors are central in all that we do. Through the effort of Have a Cow program, over 100 cows have been distributed to the widows of the 1994 genocide. And nutritious porridge is served daily at all our preschools under our A Bowl of Porridge feeding program. Interest in education began to pick up. However, the hope for advancing beyond primary school remained impossible for most. As such, students had no dreams and their parents had no hope. Now, there is new hope for Boneza. As God continues to open doors and provide, one thing keeps leading to another. The little kids, our peanuts, are thriving. Dreams are coming alive. Hope is becoming contagious. Our holy hill is shining the light and the love of Jesus. A new local soccer team plays weekly, and Kivu Hills Academy is now open. Actually, the first class of 25 students has already been enrolled. Kivu Hills Academy is using a vocational training curriculum. Construction is our first area of emphasis, but very soon, curriculums for hospitality and improved agricultural production will be next. 
we are focusing on how to best train and equip our students to thrive in and around the community. The Kibbe Hills Academy model is also an eventual self-sustaining one. The widows and many of the single women in Bonesa were very poor. Women had routinely been neglected and forced to live in miserable conditions. Many of them had children who also suffered. Now, there are over 20 women trust saving and loan groups. Each one is having a tremendous impact to empower the women on several levels. With an average of 40 members in each group, over 800 women are now benefiting from savings. 200 very small businesses have been started with loans from the group that range from just a few dollars. Our goal is to complete the construction of Cape Hills Academy as soon as possible. However, we also need to ensure we cover the annual operation cost of both ARM and KHA in their present state. As a ministry, we are so excited because the people of Boneza are choosing to look at their country and see not a land of a thousand hills and a thousand problems but rather a land of a thousand hills and a thousand blessings. We invite you to partner with us. God is at work and it is an indescribable joy to join with Him here and now as He transforms lives and touches hearts. Together, we can make such a great difference for Bonesa and the Kingdom. Thank you.